Right then. This should hopefully be the end of Unmetal. That's the the thought anyway. Just move my mic around a little bit. Because this is now currently on chapter eight. Let's see what we got everywhere. We have cameras everywhere. Good lord. That is a lot of cameras. On the east side, the cameras were accompanied by guards. I needed to pass without being spotted by Mike or the camera. So, I had to get rid of Mike and leave no witnesses. But it was more complicated than that. If the camera saw Mike knocked out, lying on the ground, the alarm would be triggered. Seems you just had to move him away from the view of the camera. Exactly. But, if Mike wasn't there as the camera viewed his post, the alarm would still be triggered. Whatever I did, the camera had to see Mike standing at his post. Hmm. Quite the scenario. Unless it's an episode of MacGyver, it would be impossible to proceed. Hold on. If you're telling me this, that means you made it through, correct? Well, yes, I managed to fool the camera eventually. How did you manage that? If the camera needed to see Mike, I could just make a copy of him. A clone? Yes, the copy was so perfect, Mike's mother wouldn't know the difference. I made the swap when the camera wasn't looking. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. That's something I wasn't expecting. So now I've got to make clones of people. Weird. Alright. Uh, not going anywhere near that. And that appears to be... stationary? Yes, so I have to go the north way. Such an insane plan. <laughs> that revolt requires a small amount of sneaking. Which is weird, but there you go. Got in. Okay, the power cable just decided it wanted to go to freedom. Uniforms. Why do I just combine the uniforms with the string? Is that possible? Okay, I can't combine it with anything. But I can wear it. Okay. here. Doesn't seem particularly obvious. Oh, we we'll use the toilet again. So that means I don't have to do that particular puzzle. Fake Mike. 
A moment, Mr. Fox. Why didn't you put on a uniform yourself? You had chances to remove a uniform off any guard from the beginning. You realize that you could have slipped past at any time, dressed as another guard on shift. So tell me, Mr. Fox, why not? Because I didn't want to end up as one of them. What? It's just clothing. A disguise. That's how it starts. First you're dressing like them. Then you're eating like them. Sleeping like them. Paying your taxes like them. You end up reading their literature. Reciting their poetry. And you slowly sink into their system until you end up converted as one of them. I couldn't let that happen. Okay. Oh. I wasn't, like, far off. Why can't I use it? Unless I have to remove him first and then dump it there. There we go. Let's take him with me. And throw him on the floor. And piss. Done. That means that the rope replica is there. I can just do whatever I like for the minute. Sort of. I think. I'm not entirely certain. I think I can't really sit behind those boxes. Is it behind a set of boxes? This one. But. Am I going to get that medal? You know, you can just do whatever. <laughs> Alright. Binoculars. And there's another one. Ugh. Same puzzle twice. Just make sure you're awake and aware of it. So we need the clone ready, and then I need the chloroform. A bit, bit stricter. That worked, I guess. Electro magnetic grenades. Is this just to get past the Okay. I guess it's to get past the uh the next set of cameras just so I can actually do something. And it's the last weapon in the inventory. Hmm. A lot of faff, just for one weapon. Here we go. Keep forgetting I left him on the floor.
Wait, what? Did you say that the alarm never sounded? You're contradicting yourself. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. All right, fine, whatever. I could, I couldn't see what that was. Is there a second camera in the tree? I guess there is. Oh, fuck off. Do I have to hit that camera completely? <laughs> like, 100% attack it. There we go. Oh, come on! That's way too much, too little timing. Lord. Well, there is a big thing there that I could use. Let's cover. Considering how some of these are laid out. Oh, nuts, I forgot. I need to do the. Alright, alright, no. I've, I've got it now. I've got it now. I've got it now. just realized I'm in the wrong category on Twitch. This is not that, it is on metal. Kidding me? I did. Oh. <laughs> and the game is incredibly strict. Great. As if it hasn't been already with that blasted sub boss that it put in front of me. to the Omega building. That would be the last place I'd visit on my tour de escape. Okay, I can't reach the camera to turn it off. Hello, Kafka. Okay. I mean, I can disable it. Hmm. 
I mean, if they're in synchronization with each other, I should be able to pass underneath. I think. I'm not entirely certain. No, I can't. <laughs> Great. So I'm gonna hit the other one with a charge and then run in. No point in grabbing any more grenades if it's not gonna really do much. Okay, can't claim a mic. <laughs> it's a very polite thing to do, is to ring the doorbell and then let yourself in. I have a pizza here for Mike. That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Show it to the camera. Well, uh... Oh, no. That doesn't work, does it? I think I left it on my motorcycle. Yep. <sighs> So many ways that this game is trying to game over me at this moment. I mean, yeah, I get it, it's the last area, but still. I did not move by the time I hit him. son needs to pee and he really needs to go to the bathroom could you let me in please i'm sorry we can't let children inside but he's about to pee himself it'll be everywhere walls doors ceilings there's a toilet just after you enter the compound there he'll be able to pee and save his game okay That apparently was the correct an- No, it wasn't the correct answer. Oh. Hello. Good evening. So wait, how am I supposed to get myself in? <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Oh, there's a- there's a bin on the other side. That might have something in it. A pizza box. Of course. Oh my god. Why why are there so many labyrinthine choices? Margarita then, I don't know. It's a margarita pizza. Margarita? It has tomato, mozzarella, and oregano. Don't fuck with me. That's what all pizzas have. You brought me a pizza with nothing else on it? Do I look like a dumbass or what? Besides, isn't this a repeated order? That was a game over. <laughs> I don't know what's on your order, buddy. I ain't psychic. Definitely the way the game is trying to, you know, trap you. Because you haven't played it yet. Oh, 
I have a pizza here for... It's a mushroom and arugula pizza. What's arugula? It's an Italian herb with intense flavor. Fuck. Is that the kind of pizza that looks like it has grass on it? Well, yeah, it's green. Do I look like a sheep? Besides, isn't this a repeated order? He orders a cheese pizza? What a bland... Oh, shit. What a bland asshole. Oh yeah, I'll just have a cheese pizza, man. Apparently that's the king of all pizzas. Cheese. Just cheese. I have a pizza It's a four cheese pizza. You've gotta be joking. I'm lactose intolerant. Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another mic? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. Fuck, you're an imposter. Okay, so obviously one of the pizzas is correct. But... Which one? Like, this, this is starting to get into adventure logic territory, where it's just... But the last game that I ever played that had this kind of labyrinthine, um, like, text prompts was, uh, Alpha Protocol. There's an old game. Uh, and that one wasn't particularly good. I have a pizza here for... Okay, this is the margarita it's one margarita again. Pizza. Oh, that's an alert. Okay. I have a feeling I might have to look this up because this doesn't make any sense. But this is definitely getting to the point of uh, indie developer doesn't play test his stuff or just assumes it's fine. Someone will get it. It's a mushroom and Nope, it's all alerts. So what am I missing here? This seems wrong. This seems very wrong. But there's nothing here that tells me yeah, this is right. Oh, it's uh, it is a pepperoni pizza. The game doesn't tell you that you need to investigate it. There is another puzzle here that it hasn't like I told you. I really studied that pizza box, examining every detail, every clue, every molecule. I deduced that it was used by someone else to smuggle something into the Omega building. A pizza? Exactly. A pepperoni pizza, to be precise.
smoking pepperoni pizza. Can I get in there? No, I can't. Ugh. Oh, come on. Hey, four dollar, how's it going? I don't know why anything about pizza would summon anyone. Other than the hungry and the cold and the needy. Oh, that's okay. Okay, let's get there. Combine the pizza with the fire extinguisher. I have a pizza here for... Fuck, I forgot to examine the pizza. <laughs> I forgot to examine the pizza before I put it in the door. I just made it a smoking hot pizza. And there were some goodies that I missed as well. I saw it on the walkthrough as I was trying to figure this one out. Um, they're not in obvious locations. They are actually pretty difficult to find. Like, I should have twigged when I got caught in one of the previous... What the oh, it's just... It's just telling me it's time to rain again. That's all. Okay, let's examine the pizza. I carefully studied that pizza. Combine the pizza with that. I was so hungry that I ate the pepperoni bits left over on the cardboard. But as I opened the box, the steam from within disappeared. I just screwed that up again. Because <laughs> I'm not meant to eat the pepperoni pizza. I don't think. It's either I am, but I honestly don't know. It's such a weird thing. Yesterday was such a breeze as a stream, and then I've come back to weirdness again. This is a game that definitely relies on the humor to treat to keep going. Um I have a pizza here for Pepperoni. It's a pepperoni pizza. Great. The kind I like. Yeah, I made the mistake of eating the pepperoni. Stage complete. Chapter 9, Jericho's Heart. This is the final chapter. As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark industrial place with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. You are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? 
Ja. <lacht> I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. You are inside. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said ground floor alarm cable. Do not cut. Okay. Can do. Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. Fantastic. That's a good piece of news for me. That means I can kind of bumble about a bit, even if I screw up. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... <laughs> Scandinavian guards. Not only were they tougher than normal guards, they were light sleepers, too. God damn it. Hey, escaping prisoner, send backup. This may have something to do with the, uh, the guy who made this game. Oops, I fell asleep. You can use string. Okay. Thanks for telling me that now, game. Do I even want to save? No, not really. I might I actually kinda of wanna see what the other one is. I have string. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna only tie up one at a time. Unless I have string. Oops, I fell asleep. Or string. I need a level 4 keycard. Damn. Okay, can I get them with the chloroform? Yes, I can. That perfect knots them out good. Doesn't raise the alarm either. Tied up. Is there anything in here? There's grenades of some kind. Oh, electromagnetic grenades. string. The other option, of course, is to kill them permanently. But I can't leave them to die. At some point, I am going to run out of string. There's only so many times you can hog tie a Scandinavian guard. Very few ways I can get a uh, clean bead on this one. In 
that pokey little room, I found a few crates. They contained... Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take first aid kits. I think it's depending entirely on what you're low on at that point, but considering that I'm going to need first aid kits for every single time I screw up, I'll take those. But I have a plan here. It's a very strange one. Yoink. Come here. You will go inside this room because I have no more use for it. Have fun. No, 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 you will not do this, thank you. Right, let's get the health kit out. Get the string back out. I have a feeling that one I'm going to have to, like, start shooting those guys, because there's nothing else I can do. But I do need to see if I can find some more string. How's it going? <laughs> Piece of string. They are give me a lot of string to work with, that's a certain. Two more bullet slots. Although I haven't really used my gun. There's only been like one or two instances that I have. This is the uh, adventure game version of... <clears throat> Where is it? What am I going to do with those last two though? I can't chloroform them. I actually destroyed toilets. Yeah, oh, there's still some more toilets to go then. don't have any coins left. This could be a problem. And they... Oh god. <laughs> they don't care about the... Uh, about that, so... Okay, now I need to equip this. And then equip this. Sometimes it do be that way. Oops, I fell asleep. Oh, come on, I was putting you tying you up. Don't recover that fast. Summarize it. 
<laughs> do we want to? Do we want him to summarize or tell everything? <laughs> There's probably a bunch of jokes in the tell everything. Think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to drop that fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample. How in the world do you know? that it's a fissile core uranium-235 isotope sample. What else would be in the hands of a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? How do you know I'm a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen? If I drop this, and the flask is broken? Of course I know! The radiation will flood the whole room! And that would kill us all. I know! I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Now turn around. Slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment, I can only turn in multiples of 90 degrees. Then turn around 90 degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh god, he has a weapon! Wait. You said Dr. Hoffman. Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was tall, German, and hairy. He won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes. Life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories. What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable. You'd need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field. That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. You disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What do you say? <laughs> The H comes from hydrogen. Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with your scientific slang. Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait. I did it against my will. They have my daughter. If I don't do what they say, they'll kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor in the Alpha Building. The Alpha Building. The same one where I met the doctor. Suddenly, I pieced things together, and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building, although I never saw this man's daughter. Doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. In her 30s? What kind of answer is that? A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. Don't change the subject. What sort of father are you? It's okay. I confess I've never been a good father since I've spent all my time absorbed in science. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. I know, I know. But my current situation is particularly disastrous. Why? Because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. Oops, now it's mine. 
What? Jesse Fox here. Over. I'm sorry. What is this long rambling nonsense? <laughs> Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello. How are you? Not very happy knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your your father? Yes. Doctor, this is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. That's what they're trying to get us to believe. In truth, He's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other doctors. I'm the only one here. They're trying to make us believe that too. They're manipulating us. Is your father, by any chance, an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist fathers. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter, and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like you, dedicated to looking after others, has a father that is involved in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? My father is a good man. He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer. Well... The man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons that will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No. No. This can't be. You see? I told you he wasn't your father. What should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Ugh! Ugh! Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. Doctor? She hung up. Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry. She wasn't your daughter. She was the other doctor. What are you talking about? <laughs> they're the same person. That's what they're trying to make us believe. They're toying with us. Are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people could die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not called being a monster. It's called being a father. If you had a daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough. Where is the rooftop? Uh, above? Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean, how do I reach the rooftop? And don't stall me, understood? Another stupid answer and I shoot. I don't think you'll do it. You don't look like an assassin. Really? <laughs> fuck! It was an accident! What the fuck? Tis but a scratch. Come on, my friend. Stand up. I'm going to repeat the question one last time. And this time, I won't miss. Excuse me. You didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. <laughs> then this time I won't heal anyone. How do I reach the rooftop? Th there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. But you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. <laughs> we, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. I swear. Fuck! I'll have to search for it. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us! I promise the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter or the other one? The other one. Then you had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. You see? I told you that you didn't look like an assassin. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape, about Colonel Harris, and the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. After that, I asked him for some assistance in my escape. 
But he was terrified of being discovered, which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral, but still volunteered some information. The other guy's gone. <laughs> the other guy's gone now. Oh, that's a health kit. Free one. There we go. Right. From here on out, what do you even do? Where am I going? Can I hit these? Oh yeah, I can break them. That's fine. Another thing, don't shoot in the lab. Most of these devices don't react well to bullets. They don't mind being punched. Be careful in there. There are patrols of mechanical spiders. They can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work. Uh, okay, I have a full supply of those. That's fine. Although this wall doesn't seem right, but yeah, whatever. I can just absolutely eliminate them. Good, 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 good. Should be the level 9 challenge. Oh, me Mechorachnophobia. What's this one? Destroy nine mechanical spiders. Where is the spider over here? Just hoping there's another something else other than just grenades. Asking your prayers are answered. Health kit would be is very useful. God, there's two of them. Anti rad suit. Oh, because the other place has radiation. Thankfully, is not as dumb as Metal Gear 1 actually is, considering there are certain locations in which you cannot take anything off. You just have to kind of swap items and take the damage. Mr. Fox! Mr. Fox! I'm coming! What's up, Hoffman? My daughter. She is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? If they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what'll happen if they get completed. Okay, saved, good. One more room. In here. Put this on. Go in. I'm going inside. I'm just going to have a quick look. The radiation level is extremely high. 
So wear the anti red suit the entire time. Okay. That's what I was doing. Oh god, there's mechanical spiders in here as well. And I can't throw any... I can't do anything in this. I have to... Run. Ow! God, ow! Ow! Oh, I'm gonna bleed out before I get anywhere. Yeah, bled out. <sighs> okay, it told me to wear the suit the entire time and then told me not to. Interesting. Are you going inside? I'm just Okay, so I have to actually disable these spiders. How much is that going to hurt me? That is the question here. Oh, it hurts a lot. Although I did get... I did get uh, shot, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to like heal me up to full. I'm gonna take a quick loo break because it's gonna take a bit, a couple of minutes for it to refill. And don't go anywhere. with my controller. There we go. Right, spider number two. Where is it? It is there. Mm, does it have nuclear bleeding? Not really, okay. Working on the uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 premise that radiation hurts you quite a bit. But that's all. Is literally just the mask from uh, Metal Gear 1. We're back to cameras again. Man. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Guess where I am. I don't think you're home. The radio signal wouldn't reach. I'm in the Omega building. Fuck, man. Why are they prepping the nukes? You decide to stop him? What a change of heart, man. No, it wasn't intentional. Then why the hell are you there? Trying to ride a helicopter out of here. 
guess that whole runaway by sea plan didn't work out, eh? Just forget about that. I'll see what I can find out about that building. Okay, normal soldiers. Ow! Oh, okay, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Um, game? Why were you not letting me shoot? Oh no, I have to do the whole section again. The whole radiation section again. At least I don't have to, you know, kill all the spiders for the achievement. It's done. I can just kind of sneak around most of them. I am out of there. Are you kidding me? Ow. Well, this ain't gonna end well either way. And the door's over there. Okay. Like, some of the stuff doesn't tend to see, doesn't particularly lend well to this perspective, as I'm learning. It, um... I can't tell what the cameras can and can't see. Heard your conversation, Robert. Go away. Electromagnetic grenades, huh? So how am I going to hit this one? Hit it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, got to the door. Good. Now we're dealing with guards again. Interesting. Uh, normal guards at that. They're not Scandinavian guards. <laughs> of 
coins are back? <laughs> you took them off me. Oh, whatever. Game is very inconsistent about this. Okay. There's a guard right next to me. So go into this room. Oink. Yet. And I gotcha. <laughs> Just gonna take you with me. Nice and quiet like. And don't be here. More bullets. Actually I should probably heal myself. What? Okay. Got one red, blue, yellow. Same on the other side. Oh no, they have specific cut points. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another crate behind here. This was the access card I needed to reach the rooftop. Now I just had to check if there were any helicopters up there. Ah, thankful for that save. That is a long section. <laughs> if it did not have any saves afterward. I ain't falling for that. <laughs> I don't know why there was a, they're playing with the coin in there, but there you go. It's a nice big old fat check mark for a save. Happily take that. I got plans for a bunch of stuff before, it just didn't really click while it was there. I was on the third floor. There were guards keeping watch on the whole level. But these were not your run of the mill guards. They were Japanese mercenaries. Were they also tougher than normal guards? No way. On the contrary, they were weaker. One punch and down they went. But these Japanese mercs were damn perceptive due to special training they received. Their unique awareness was twice that of a normal guard, an angle of 180 degrees. Getting close to them unnoticed was impossible if you weren't behind their back. Okay. Hey, a coin! Uh oh. Hey, hey, game, thank you. Oh god, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Ow. Oh, 
I'm gonna die from bleeding out anyway. Cause uh Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. They re they really went the whole hog on this one, didn't they? Could have escaped that, but then the main problem there was that um, I'd alerted everything. Heard something. Hey, a coin. So there was no point in trying to not do anything here. There may be uh, frequent trips to the previous floor to uh, save as soon as I'm dealing with these soldiers. Level 8. Ah, oh, you just. <sighs> this is such a cock tease. Regenerative health or more damage for bosses. All right. Okay, let's go back down and save. It auto saved there. Okay. <laughs> and auto saved there again. What? Well, okay, the game is getting very generous with the auto saving. What have we got here? Two. Hey, buddy. Here's my... Here's my thing. Hmm, <laughs> how am I going to sneak up on this guy? Oh. That way. Howdy, friend. Good night. Put 20 guards to sleep. Ooh, we have bullets. And that's as many bullets as I'm allowed to carry. Okay, so that was at least somewhere to restock, but not allowed to shoot anyone. <laughs> Kind of defeats the point of giving me bullets at this moment in time. Good. Oh god. What is this area? Oh, what? Uh, okay. Ow. Okay, yeah, I I messed up. I messed up. I messed up heavily. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Eh, you know what, let's just load. <laughs> Cause uh Alerts at this point are insanely unforgiving. Ah, 
Uh, why can't I move? There we go. Let's take him with us into the toilet. Gotta have that rule. Well, he's getting better at actually, you know, taking people down rather than, you know, what I was doing before, which is not much. Just kind of bumbling over and then dying. Although I don't think I can get that last guy. Or I could. I just have to be kind of particular about it. Also, apparently, they haven't ironed out all the bugs. What? <laughs> I could have sworn he saw me. But apparently, I cannot use the toilet if I'm holding a soldier in my hands. facing down. Okay. So how am I going to deal with this guy? Ha. Hey, a coin. Do it the old-fashioned way. Give my coin back. Am I already halfway... I'm already taking enough of these guys down to be halfway up to a next level. I don't think I'm going to get to level 10 before I finish. But, uh, there you go. I'll trigger to pull off. Ah, yeah, you know what, I'll just piss in the soldier's mouth and somehow it'll go in the toilet. It's the, uh, it's the rule of, um... <laughs> it's the rule of, uh... Uh, fluid swapping, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he's going to leak at some point. He's knocked out, but he's not. His body senses are still doing stuff. <laughs> I've got weird kinks. No, I just have a very strange imagination. How, how long have you known me at this point, Kafka? <laughs> I do say weird shit all the time. Another toilet there. I mean, it's not... Oh, you did not see me, asshole. Ow! Okay, run. Ah, oh, I'm dead. How long is it in? Uh, I think followage is still used in my chatbot. Like, I'm surprised at how long I've been following some people. I know four dollar four dollar followed me just as I hit around fifty followers. Follow it's um just exclamation point followers. Cause I think I've been in Jenny Bean's community now over two years. I 
And uh, I was surprised that uh, earlier th today that um, I found out I had been in Mystantix for getting towards two years now. So many people you kind of like don't realize how long you've been like with them. Oh, hello. You're the boss of those assholes. Know that they couldn't take two punches. You insult Japanese quitter. You die for my katana. Really? I'm going to show you what I think about your damn karate. I have a gun. Ow. I'm bleeding. Ow! Ow! Okay, I died. Use the uh, let's use the the viewer. Since June last year, I mean the precise one is doing this. Do it with um, the beep. Error. This API is deprecated and discontinued. Right. <laughs> I need to update that. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably going to come back with errors because it's not working at the moment. It should give an, an accurate date and then um, how long people have been around for. I know you can check like the front page of my stuff as well. June 22nd, last year. It has been a while, hasn't it? I think that was the Snow Brothers stream. Okay, I shot him in the face. Hasta la vista, baby. Boss defeated. Okay, I'm not bleeding anyway. Uh, what was that challenge? Dance of Blade and Garden. Without letting him heal himself. Okay. In which we found out very recently, I have been streaming for roughly on and on six years. <laughs> Doing this. Some people have been around for a lot longer than me, but there you go. Didn't realize I'd actually. Like, I found the, the Ape Escape streams. Hey, Mike! Look! You scared me! Mike? Yeah, it's me. I heard about how you kicked Marcuson's ass. Son of a bitch, he deserved it. What are you doing here, Mike? Well, after I finished repairing those lasers, they decided I had to come here and fix more stuff. Wasn't it your night off? Yep, just another night working for a bunch of damn extortionists. What brings you here, Mike? Need some help? Nah, I'm going to the rooftop. Almost there. Just take an elevator up a floor. I know, I was just exploring a little. Anyway, if you need any help, come see me. I'll be around. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Yep, toodaloo. Do I need a question mark key card for that? 
Hit that? Okay, so I need to go up the next floor. Trees there? There is something there. That in that in there, isn't there? I have to admit there it probably is. Still, there's still actually quite a lot to do. I'm hoping to finish this tonight. Like, I'm not that far away, but it depends on how badly some of these sections go. I think the oldest, I don't think she's pretty active any longer, viewer, that I have. I so finally cool. went out to the rooftop. As I stepped out, I observed details that would be missed by mere amateurs. But to a trained eye like mine, nothing ever goes unnoticed. First off, there was a communication antenna to my right. Right? You mean on the left? I was looking south, so your left is my right. Of course. Continue. Another key detail. There were four guards. And they were smoking. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Hands up. You have no fucking idea who I am, do you? Who the hell are you, scumbag? I'm the man who's going to shove my boot in your asses so deep that you'll all be shitting leather for a month. I'm the fucking work inspector. Military internal affairs. What? So, how the fuck is it possible that a goddamn gentleman like me, dressed as a mere civilian, really strolled around the whole fucking building? I'll tell you how. Because some inept guards decided that instead of being at their posts, they slithered up to the rooftop to hide, smoke, and spew scum. It's our five minutes off, sir. Are you kidding me, soldier? No, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Mike, sir. Listen to me carefully, scumbag Mike. I've been sent <laughs> by the general himself. He is pissed off with all the soldiers in this building. And I have his permission to ensure each one of you are pissed on. I just have to make a little fucking check mark, and your precious fucking leave is a never ending hell of cleaning latrines and wiping piss. So don't piss me off. Do I make myself clear, scumbag Mike? C -c Crystal clear, sir. Chatting here, blah, blah, blah. Gossiping like schoolgirls. You disgust me. Fuck. Imagine if I was a spy or a prisoner who managed to obtain critical information and I was pretending to be a work inspector in order to steal a helicopter and escape. What do you think would happen, scumbag Mike? Sir, it would be a non-authorized takeoff and it would be shot down by the surface-to-air missiles. And you think he couldn't avoid it? Only if he disabled the communication with the missiles, sir. I see. And how would he do that? Sir, disabling the communication antenna that communicates with all surface-to-air missile batteries. And then he just gets away. What kind of shitty security is that? That's it. This is all going into my report. Heads are going to roll. Please, sir, don't rescind our leave. We have children waiting for us. Fuck! You have children, and you're smoking? You call yourself a father scumbag, Mike? I have good reason to keep you from your kids. No, please. I'll give up smoking, I swear to God. Swear to me, 
I swear, I swear. I'm magnanimous. I will turn a blind eye to this indecency. But the day you hold another cigarette will be your last. Thank you, sir. Take a look at this floor. It's littered of cigarette butts, you pigs. Have you been tossing these without putting them out? You'll burn the building down. Not to mention the pollution. And what happens if a passing child gets burnt from these? Fucking swine. Lean down, little piggies, and collect all these cigarette butts with your mouths now. Yes, sir. You too, asshole. Yes, sir. What the fuck? Now, get out of here and go back to your posts. Yes, sir. Okay. Table communication star. Guess I'm going to have to go back and talk to Mike. Here it was. The antenna. I searched for wires to cut. Good news. I found some wires. Bad news. I found something else behind them. What, Mr. Fox? A bomb. A bomb? In a communication antenna? Exactly. I thought someone before me placed it there to sabotage the tower. And that person was captured or killed before he could set off the bomb. However, a label adjacent to the bomb solved the enigma. It read, Communication Antenna Sparky SGL-65B Anti-Vandalism System. Anti-personnel bomb explode if person attempt cut antenna signal. Explosion will not affect structure, but shrapnel eject outside literally destroy any person nearby. Hmm, interesting. Sergeant, do we have anything similar on base? No, Lieutenant, but we can request for one. Well, continue with your farce, Mr. Fox. The label continued. For emergency purpose, disconnect antenna. Prevent explosion by follow KGS-185-U protocol. And what the hell is that protocol? The KGS-185-U protocol. I didn't figure it out at first, but it turns out that I had read that name before. Right. Some wire cutters, obviously. Well, something along those lines. I hope. Dude, I can't do that yet because I don't think I have any pliers. Well, you know, we, we may as well go talk to our friend Mike, the, the engineer, and see what he says. Imagine what it would have been like if I had actually like chosen one of the other perks earlier that didn't double my health. Or not. Wait, what am I doing now? What's my objective? Disable the communication star. Okay, let's do some warping around then. Glad there's an auto save point there, because it makes it so much easier. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. Uh. What was it first? It was red wire. Nope. I think the thing is about like that last perk is it was it's incredibly both of them are incredibly useful. It's either regeneration or it's more damage against bosses. Like most cutter to cut the normal bosses. Nope, it's not the black wire. I 
I used the bolt cutter to cut the... Oh, right. I haven't done something yet, have I? I haven't disabled the, uh... I haven't disabled the communications yet. I, I am going a bit ahead of myself. Obviously there's something else I need to do on the roof. box just sat there. It is. Anything around? Nope, nothing at all. Wait, how am I supposed to get to that? So I have to go around. We have wire. Oh, I need another key card again. Missing stuff. More wires. It's a six step puzzle. That's the thing. It's a huge puzzle. Grenade slot. Okay, that's how I get in there. Any more wires? Oh, I have to play electrician. This is scary. Okay, let's quickly, like, hop in and out of here so it auto saves. It's not auto Come here. You should be auto saving. Right, so combine those two together. So which one is it first? Is red... Red with yellow... Or is that white? Okay, red with white. Blue with... Hold on, I need a piece of paper or something. Hold off. Ah, oh, yes, a dried out glass is one. That's something that I can write on. So it's red to white. Blue to brown, that looks like on the left side. 
and then uh, green and yellow. I guess I can't actually see the colors properly, even with my side stream. I use the wire with clamps to connect the uh, red wire with the white wire. Okay, hasn't exploded yet. I use the wire with clamps to connect the uh, with the Okay, that's the wrong order. <laughs> like th this is like Sierra adventure game logic at this point. Like you've been told the answer, but fuck if I know what it is. I use the wire with clamps to connect the. What was next? It's the black wire. With the. Blue wire. <laughs> Fuck. Use the wire with clamps to with the like the first bit's easy. It's this bit that I'm not entirely clamp. certain. Black wire with the green wire. Okay, that's the last that's another two. I use the wire with clamps to connect the With the... Damn it! <laughs> but the thing is, the difficulty... Like, changing the difficulty doesn't do much, because it's just... That's for combat encounters. This is literally just... I up above. Wire with clamps to oh, it's red wire. With the... White wire. I use the wire with clamps. To Black wire. With the. Green wire. I use the wire with clamps. Yellow wire. With the. Blue wire. Okay, that's now all complete. I can start cutting. But I'm going to make it auto save first, because that is a very long puzzle. And then I have to connect a bunch of different wires again. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. Oh shit! Is the black wire first? Nope, it is not. Okay, what does it say again? So it's red, black, green. I use the bolt cutter to What? That's not correct. Or am I looking at it in the wrong order? Oh, I was looking at it in the wrong order. So it's green. Red, black. I use the bolt cutter to cut. No, it's not, it's blue. I use the bolt cutter to cut the. 
I used the bolt cutter to cut the... Okay, it's disabled. Done. The antenna was out of action. The surface to air defenses would never activate if I hit the skies. Now, I can finally get that damn helicopter and escape. That's a really long puzzle. Where's my gun? There it was. The helicopter I eventually escaped in. Only to have you inevitably shoot it down. But fuck, I didn't have the damn key. I needed it to get the door open. Okay. I don't have the key card to get any further. So what is it? Okay, let's get the pen out of the way. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Oh. We may have an issue. This may have to go on for another week. Because, uh, it looked like there wasn't, there was only, uh, nine chapters. It's wrong. There's ten. And I'm getting to the end of my stream today. So, we'll be doing this again. I've been trying to finish this off next week. I hope. Chopper yet? Found a helicopter, but I don't have the key. Can't you hotwire it? I can't even open the outer door. Work your magic with the radio. Maybe you can hear something useful. No problem. Let's see if a guard can be tricked into telling where a spare key is. Thanks, friend. Hey, Mike. How did they bring you here? In a helicopter, like everyone else. Everyone but me. Mike, I'm looking for the key to that helicopter. Well, General X probably has it in his office. Is it far? You're right in front of it. That door? Yes. Fuck. Finally some luck. But. But. What? Only General X can open it. Shit. Can't you use your magic? Nope. There has to be a way to get in there. A uh, back door or something. Come on, Mike. Think. His office might have another entrance. A while ago, I was studying the map of this building, and I saw something weird. Weird? What was weird? The office has a private elevator that leads to the basement. I always wondered why he wanted an unlocked private elevator. So you could take the main elevator to the basement, and go through there to General Lex's private elevator? Yep. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the basement. Mike, wait! The basement is a fucking maze. Take this map with you. You'll need it to get through safely. A map? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. This is a set of instructions. This is a huge set of instructions.
That's a big ass set of instructions. I answered the call before leaving. Hey Fox, were you searching for a helicopter key? Fuck uh, yeah. You have it yet? Not yet, but I believe General X has one in his office. Why? Because I heard some talk on the radio. They're keeping a copy of that key in a special room. It's somewhere close to General X's office, through a private lift. Don't know what room it is or where, but I know the door is marked with an X. A door marked with an X? Yeah, man. Fucking weird. Thanks, Robert. If I don't find the key in his office, I'll look for that room. Okay, back outside. Uh, let's... I think the basement's over here somewhere. I'm guessing. Nope. Do I literally physically have to go down to the basement? punch buttons to get down there. Or oh, you could go here early. Welcome to the basement. Uh, thanks? Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox. Son of Zox, I hail you, O Lord of the Labyrinth. What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I wish to enter the Labyrinth. Then say friend in Elvish, and the door will open. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well... I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, a fruit. Big, sweet. You eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. Melon? <laughs> oh, I couldn't see shit. If that labyrinth was full of traps, I was going to need something to see in there. Didn't I have something? What? I could have sworn I had something to light the way. Oh. Okay, I hadn't done something on the first floor. Like, it's getting incredibly cryptic now, and I'm starting to lose my patience about it. Oh, because I didn't go in here yet. It was a door I had no intention of looking in. I 
reached the first intersection. It had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. found an old rusted sword. A thousand years ago, it could have been of use, but this was current year, so I tossed it. Okay, is there anything else in here? Whatever, apparently there's nothing in here. I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. The second letter was also an E. Do not disturb. Where am I? There we go. Okay. And I cannot remove anything from these uh, ghosts. I died. Okay. It's another awful section. Okay, so this map is now lying to me. Because both wests, uh, both wests that I meant to take for that, because from that map, I cannot access. So I'm meant to be able to go that way. Or something along those lines. Is there anything I can do to ward off these ghosts? Oh god. Oh, apparently you can shoot them. Well, that's nice to know, game. Thank you very much. Let's fit. I'm just gonna finish this next week. It's uh, it's not great. This ending part has become like a very stodgy, stodgy, tortured mess. It's uh, it's kind of annoying. I will state that. It has become a very, very big mess. 
Und hmm. Okay, there's no schedule for now. I'm going to check something quickly on my work thing. I don't think they've updated anything yet. Even though the, we would actually need to get hours tonight to know what's going on next week. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay. It has been updated. Thankfully. So, next week... It's a full stream of week. It's a full, uh, it's a full set of streams. They've updated my schedule. Uh, I am doing an eight three on Thursday, nine six nine six, and then a ten six for the rest of the week, which is nice. So, how am I going to do this one? Wednesday we'll be starting a new game. Uh, we beat. No, I beat. Um, thingy, Resurrection of Evil, at the last minute. Uh, on Metal, I may just do the ghost room on my own time. Because that's really fucking awful, and I hate it. And according to this, it is the last boss is three phases. So, yeah, it's going to be a big one. Um, yeah, we'll finish on Metal next week. Uh, that'll be plonked down on Sunday. Saturday... I haven't really got an, a decision yet. See, that's the problem with, like, the restriction I have. It has to be something retro for Saturday. Um, it's either that or I start having to stray into like the indie sphere to find things. Uh, not that I've got much installed at the moment on this. I just want to do a, a breed, maybe. Uh, and then. I might just do a just play catch up for the next couple of days and uh I'll do Panzer Dragoon Saga on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, Friday. So that means that we catch up on the week that I lost to this nonsense. That's been going on. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, also, if people have not realized, uh, Kafka, you're here. I think. Still. And Vordola, I think she's still here as well. Uh, there is a new points option. It's only available once at the end of a stream. Uh, there is a guide the raid option. It can now be used. It's simpler than just what happened last time. Uh, I'm going to see who I've got available at the moment. But the first person, the first person I see, the very, very first person I see is GS Fear, who I have not even raided yet. He's currently playing Persona 5 Tactica, I don't really care about Persona 5, so I may just send everyone over there. Let's 
So uh, I will send everyone across, uh, and I will see people tomorrow for something else. For Panzer Dragoon Saga, we'll finally get it started. After how many months of me putting it off? Right, have a good evening, take care, see you later.